Well, it's been a turbulent two months for the Occupy movement. RT's Christine Frazau looks at how it started and why it spread so rapidly across the U.S. You could say it started with a whisper, a call by Canadian activist group Adbusters that spread on Facebook. Who streets? Our streets! Who streets? Our streets! This very spot, Wall Street, is the site of a heinous crime. But before long, that whisper turned into a roar. We're going to shut down Wall Street! A collective anger at Wall Street corruption, at growing income inequality in America, and at a system in which government policy is often dictated by corporate greed. Before long, the crowds brought police. The police are rising up! The police are up! With their plastic handcuffs! And police brought pepper spray. <laughs> the story brought on more protesters. And a few days later, 700 of them were arrested on the Brooklyn Bridge. Shame! Shame! Instead of scaring people away, scenes like this outraged the masses. And before long, Occupy movements multiplied from Los Angeles we are the people. We are the people. to Chicago Our streets. to Boston and just about everywhere in between. The mood grew darker as authorities threatened to clear the tent city at Zuccotti Park. At the last minute, they were allowed to remain after cleaning the park themselves. <laughs> Occupy Times Square was next and brought zone. scenes like this. This is not a war zone. These are unarmed people. It doesn't make you tough to hurt these people. Iraq War veteran Shamar Thomas fighting what had become, in his eyes, widespread police brutality. He appeared on our show a few days later. You're saying if you want to fight, Go to Iraq, go to Afghanistan. Um, what do you mean by this? You know, to hurt the citizens that you swear to protect, you know, is, is, is kind of a, you know, a contradiction to the oath that you take. And then there was Occupy Oakland. Here you see another veteran, Scott Olson, standing peacefully. Within moments, he is hit in the head with a tear gas canister, which fractured his skull and left him in critical condition. What happened, what happened? He got hit, oh, he got shot. A spotlight now shining bright on the role of police. All the while, the protests spread, much to the dismay of authorities, who over the weekend evicted encampments once again in Oakland and in Portland, St. Louis, to name a few, and New York's Zuccotti Park, the heart of the movement, also cleared for the first time since the movement began. Now many worry what's next for Occupy DC. So one of the first things they did here is to clear this part of the park. Protesters tell me they've moved their tents closer to one another. They say they've condensed their efforts because they want to stay focused. They want to stay organized. They say there's a chance that some of the protesters from the other occupations around the country could wind up here on K Street because this is one of the last places with very few clashes with police. In Washington, Christine Frizzau. RT.